Hey, what is up guys? Klossnex here. Just got out of the gym, just finished a two hour workout. It feels so good to sit down right now. I'm still in the car in the parking lot. And this is a subject that I've been, I've thought about a lot in the gym and I've done a lot of different styles of training and working out. And one thing that always comes into my mind is like, man, I've been on my phone a lot today. Should I feel, you know, like, should I feel bad about this? Is it like, is it bad to be on your phone in the gym? You know, obviously it's not bad, but like, are you impacting your training by like, you know, going hard for 10 reps and then scrolling through Facebook, right, in between your reps. So I've done a lot of thinking about it. And, you know, you'll see a lot of videos. I mean, I have a video. Uh, if, if you go onto my YouTube page called Focus, it's pretty much about people who spend too much time screwing around, not enough time focusing on their sets, um, where I talked about this. But, I've, you know, after thinking about it, I think that it depends, right? It depends on what style of training you're doing, and it depends on how long your rest periods are. So the whole uh, core component of this as to should you feel guilty about being on your phone in the gym comes down to your rest periods, in my opinion, right? This is all my opinion. But if your rest periods are, you know, your strength training, you're waiting two, three, four, five minutes between your sets, like what are you, are you going to sit there and, and stare at the wall for five minutes and just be hyped while you wait for your next set? Oh, it's starting to rain. Uh, or are you going to, you know, kill time on your phone, right? Um, when you have like a, a, a song length between your sets, right? What do you do? So in that case, you know, kill time, whatever. You, you get fired up right before your next set. But if you're doing more like bodybuilding and your rest periods are only like 45 to 60 seconds, you know, that's not a lot of time to browse through your, your social media. So you have to take that into consideration. How much time does it take for you to unlock your phone or put in your password, load the app, by the time you're actually in the app, 20 seconds of your rest period is gone. You start scrolling, you know, by the time you find something that you actually want to like read or watch, 40 seconds have gone by, it's about time to start your next set. And then it's really easy to lose focus of, of what you're doing. So, you know, some bodybuilding, if you're going really heavy, you know, high volume, you can get, get away with a minute and a half rest period, stuff like that. That's kind of on the edge of like, yeah, I think it's probably okay to be on your phone, but like, if your rest periods are short and you're doing supersets or you're doing hit training, I would almost argue that you just should not even open your, unlock your phone. Just keep the music playing, focus on your rest periods. Because when your rest periods are like 30 seconds, 45 seconds, it's not even worth it to open your phone. In that case, I would say just be focused on what you're doing. Browse your phone after. But again, your strength training, you got a lot of time to kill, just do it. Uh, so should you feel guilty about being on your phone in the gym? My answer is that it depends what style of training you're doing and your rest periods. Thank you guys so much for watching. Plus, next out.